Hello everybody, Dr. Gravity Gaming here. Oh, ooh, ooh, big face, big face. And welcome back to the Minecraft video. And today is all about the brand new snapshot of Minecraft, Snapshot 16W50A. Now, unfortunately, there is no Optifine for this version. So if this video comes out uh, laggy or I don't zoom in, then that's the reason why. But I think it should be pretty smooth. Um, but I got a new calendar and now it's more festive. And if we go down to the little festive area down here, um, I've actually set up bigger numbers. I learned how to make numbers on banners, and, um, uh, well, there are no presents under the tree yet. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll happen on Christmas, but, um, uh, if you don't know what a snapshot is, it's what we're gonna be looking at today, and what a snap- get off of there. <laughs> what a snapshot is, is it's a preview, or, like, a little- it gives you a little sneak peek of the next Minecraft update. So if you're clever, you can access snapshots. No, well, you can use snapshots, not like it's a secret thing. You can uh, use snapshots and see what Minecraft has to offer. So I'm pretty sure you've already seen that little thing right there. And we're going to get into it. So first off, there are many new features in Minecraft. This is going to be Minecraft version 1.11.1. .1. So that's four ones in a row with two dots in the middle. So first off, we're going to be uh, a new feature and a new item. So everyone knows you'll get a gold nugget from a craft a crafting bench, which is going to come to over here. Uh, the new item we're going to be talking about is the iron nugget, and um, what we can do to get it is well, first everybody knows if you put an iron ingot in a crafting table, you get nine gold nuggets. Put the nine gold nuggets, you'll get the ingot back. Well, now you can put an iron ingot into the crafting table, you'll get things called iron nuggets, which sort of looks like a gas tier flipped on its side, or just a, it's a golden nugget flipped on its side. But, um, yes, you can use them to craft iron ingots, uh, which seems sort of useless on the counter if you'd need to an iron ingot to uh, craft the iron nuggets, so why would you have to craft it back? But, in order to get these um, iron nuggets, you can smelt new things now. Uh, whoops. Uh, you can smelt swords, uh, armor, uh, tools. That was it. Tools. Um, and then, yeah, just armor. I mean, in general, there are things that you can do to smelt it. So here, we're going to put these in their own little furnace. So even full, um, brand new tools and items will smelt into, uh, gold nuggets. And, uh, well, I don't, I don't really, really see a use for the iron nugget, um, it, there's no, like, crafting recipe that is um, specific to the gold nugget. I mean, well, no, the gold nugget is with the apple. That's the only use for the gold nugget. And um, you can get gold nuggets from the zombie pigmen, and they'll give you uh, ingots. But, yeah, the iron nugget is just, like, a funny little feature, I guess, that you can get from stuff. So, um, look, there's a gold nugget out of these guys, and I actually put all gold in here. <laughs> and I left all the iron over here. Okay, let's put that in there. That right there, that right there, and that there. So now that should give us iron nuggets. I'm gonna just pull out all the little gold nuggets. They're already here, so now you can smelt the stuff to get gold nuggets, so you don't really need to just craft them. But, uh, yep, see, now we're gonna get our iron nuggets. So next up is a new enchantment called Sweeping Edge. Now, everybody knows that if you were to uh, take a sword and swipe on mobs, you would be able to hit multiple mobs at once. If you didn't know that, then... Uh, Here's a little uh, example. I'm not going to kill them. Uh, here, we'll just swipe. See, I hit two mobs at the same time. Now, um, that does not really deal equal damage to each one of these um, creepers because they, the ones on the side are getting the backlash. So I'm hitting three, but the s side creepers are not um, getting hurt as badly. But Sweeping Edge evens it out a bit and gives them all uh, almost equal damage. But uh, yeah, look, they were already weakened from the sweeping edge so that will deal more damage to the side enemies that you were doing when you're using sweeping edge and uh that this enchantment goes up to three so you can get sweeping edge one two or three if you find a, a weapon or something i don't know you could find them in dungeons they might be there i don't know well you just have to look around then because experimentation is key um next up is actually probably uh one to, oh no where did he go uh, one second, please. There we go. We got the villager here, and uh, I've encased him in barriers for a very good reason. This is to test the next feature, which is actually the, the, I don't know what it's called. It's like an indicator for when you're close enough to... Uh, oh, wait, no, he's after the... He's after the... Get away! 
Sorry about the cuts. Um, <sighs> that dude actually set the villager on fire and nearly killed him. But um, the the uh, indicator for when you're close enough to a mob, I'm just that's that's a very long name, uh, but um, I'm gonna call it that. Is whenever you get whenever you're too far from a mob, you can't hit it or interact with it in any way. But in order to find out how close you need to be to interact with it, look underneath the crosshair, that little plus sign in the middle. Look, there's a little question, there's a little exclamation point there that now says, okay, you're close enough to hit him. Now if I back up, it will disappear, and now I can't hit him. But if I scooch forward, not yet, not yet. There it is. So that's a little indicator, and I think that'd be pretty good for PvP. You know, knowing how close you need to be or sneaking up on somebody. Um, but next, the next feature is I'm going to be talking about is probably everybody's favorite from now on is going to be the, uh, I'm going to call it Mineplex's newest toy. <laughs> um, but there was always a trouble with elytras. Um, they weren't the best thing in the world on the count of you couldn't really fly infinitely because you could only fly downwards. Like if you were on a high place, then you would only be able to fly uh, just in the direction mm -hmm. that is um, called down. So, but this, um, this new feature will allow you to fly with fireworks. So you can launch fireworks in mid-flight to give you a boost. Now this feature, oops, this feature, oh wait. Oh, it does. Oh, well that's so weird. Um, well, all you need to do is get a firework and launch it in mid-flight and you will be able to, um, fly infinitely. It's sort of like a jetpack now, you know? Just blast it. Um, the last time I tried this in a super flat world, it did not work. In fact, it would not launch me no matter what I did. But, um, lucky for you, it worked in super flat. I think it would probably work better in, uh, a more terrain-like world. But I guess it'll work wherever. And, uh, this is actually... There's actually a thing that happens when you're flying with an elytra. With these fireworks, uh, here, hold on, give me a sec. Ouch. All right, now, what happens with new fireworks is any firework crafted with a firework star, which you can get by combining gunpowder with any die, is you will now, it will now deal damage to a player. So, um, flying with these things is going to be extremely dangerous because you don't want to kill yourself in mid-flight. But if you do happen to do the thing that I just said you shouldn't do, uh, I'm not wearing an alliance. Then this will happen. Uh, wait for it. Um, it's gonna happen anytime soon. And sorry if there's no sound. Uh, I think I might have turned it off here. Let me turn it back on. There we go. All right. Sorry about all the cuts. My goodness, this is getting a little long now. Um, if you do so happen to kill yourself in the air with a firework, then watch. It will say, character whatever your name dr gravity gaming went off with a bang <laughs> which is probably the funniest death title um which uh that's probably been put in the game so far but i'm going to actually uh want to show you something else now um it's in another world i don't have it with me but it's in another world which took me very long to get so another cut apparently all righties we're in another world and what i managed to get in this world after um, oh, wow, this is quite an odd spawn, um, but what I managed to get in this world is this. You may not have seen something like this before, but that is, oops, that is the result of an elytra that's been flown on for a little too long. I don't know if this was a feature before, I'm pretty sure it was, but if you glide on an elytra, elytra, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, you, the wings will eventually tear, leaving this, uh, shredded little thing right here. You can actually put it on, and it'll look the same, but if you try to glide, uh, it won't let you. On the count of, it's torn, but they don't really need to make uh, an elytra that's torn. Um, but, yeah, that is the sad fact of reality, that you can't fly forever. But, um, anyways, guys, that was today's Minecraft video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, my goodness, there are so many slides. And if you did enjoy it, then please feel free to slap that awesome like button. And if you enjoyed it so much, then please feel free to subscribe. It would help out the channel a lot, and it would help with these crazy villager spawns all the time. Look at this. Look, why is the corner of this building broken? Okay, guys, I know you love me, but just please stay away. I'm pretty sure subscribing would also take away these annoying little slimes as well. Um, but uh, that was my Minecraft video, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later. I can't zoom on account of this is a snapshot.
So um, 